So what I've tried to do in my studies is this. Um, I, I want to study the Bible from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. One of the things I've discovered about the Puritans and the Reformers is, well, when, you know, when someone asks us a question about the Holy Spirit, we'll usually go to Acts 2 or John 14 or John 16. They went to some obscure text in Zephaniah somewhere. It's because they knew the Bible. I'm amazed all these young reform guys. It's like as soon as they become reformed, the, the 66 books of the canon turn into just two, Romans and Ephesians. And they can't understand either one of those books because they haven't read the whole thing. And so it's usually when I'm dealing with a text, it's going to take me to a book, some book. I have Martin's book on a guide to the Puritans so that you can look up any verse and he'll have a guide there. This Puritan wrote on this verse, this reformer wrote on this verse. And then I have a literal something I really don't want to give you guys. But because uh, it's my secret weapon, <laughs> um, it's called uh, Encyclopedia Puritanica. And it's just a little CD that was made several years ago. I think you can still find it online and I can go to that CD. I can click on any verse in the Bible and it'll sometimes have 40, 50, 60 references where the Puritans wrote on that. And not only that, I can click it and it takes me right to the reference. And so most of my studying of books has to do with I'm studying a text or I'm studying a, a doctrine. 